Welcome to Rec at Home. Today we will be making a cherry blossom windsock. Okay, the first step is to paint a branch onto a piece of construction paper. You can use any colors you want. I went with blue paper for the sky and brown paint for the branch. Try to paint the branches so that they go all the way across the paper or reach all the edges. As you can see, I have one main branch but then I'm gonna paint some kind of side branches off of it. Let's set that aside to dry. Step two, I have tissue paper and scissors. Carefully cut long pieces of tissue paper. They should be about one to one and a half inches wide. If you don't have tissue paper, pieces of string will work well. We just want something that's gonna blow in the wind. Step three is to make the cherry blossoms. I started by cutting a small square of tissue paper and scrunching it up like this. But honestly, I found that ripping squares and scrunching them up works just as well. Once your branch is dry, flip the construction paper over and add glue to the bottom. Let's take one piece of tissue paper and place it onto the glue. You want just about two inches glued down. The rest of the tissue paper should hang below the paper. Cherry blossom time. Let's place a dot of glue on the branch here and then place one of our tissue paper blossoms. How about a little bunch of three here? Oh, I think that that would look nice. Keep placing dots of glue and cherry blossoms anywhere you would like on your branches. Koinobori are carp-shaped wind socks traditionally flown in Japan. They celebrate a national holiday that we now call Children's Day. It's celebrated on May 5th. Bend your paper into a circle and join the ends together. I'm going to use tape to keep my ends together, but a stapler would work as well. Let's add a piece of tape to the top here, and then flip it over, get all the tissue paper pieces out of the way, and add a piece of tape to the bottom as well to keep it secure. Last step, friends. Cut a strip of construction paper for the handle. Now I'm gonna tape each end of the paper inside opposite sides of the tube. Again, glue or a stapler works just as well as tape for this step. And here's my final product. I'd love to see a picture of your windsock in the comments. You can hang it on a door handle or by a window or on the porch to watch it blow in the wind. Thanks for joining me, friends.